The cycle count transaction is used to report the quantities counted against a cycle count order that has been generated within LN. In order to access the cycle count transaction, we click on the inventory icon and then the cycle count icon. We specify the warehouse that we are performing the count in and then we scan in the cycle count order. Optionally, we can scan in a handling unit at this level if we know which handling units we're supposed to be counting. Otherwise, we hit next and the scanner displays the different lines to be counted. In order to perform a count, we select the line and click on the next button. We then scan in the location that we're counting, the item that we're counting and the quantity that we've counted and hit submit. Then takes us back to display the next one. If we don't find the inventory we're supposed to be counting, then we can click on the reset zero button. This allows us to say we haven't found that and the count for that particular stop point is zero. If the item is serial controlled, we will scan in the location, enter the quantity that we've counted, and then scan in the actual serial numbers that we are counting. So in this case, I'm scanning in the three serials that I've found are T101, T102, and T103. As soon as we scan in the third serial number, it performs the cycle count. If we find an item that isn't on the cycle count order, we can click on the physical inventory button. This takes us to the physical inventory screen and allows us to say that we have found an item FTWM02, A101, and we've found 10 of these that we weren't expecting. So this just allows us to insert a line into the cycle count order and goes back to do the rest of the cycle counting. In this case, it's actually for handling unit. So I can either do it in the same way as I would any other. So A004, then scan in the handling unit number and then specify what the quantity is. Or alternatively, I could just scan in the handling unit number on the first screen and it will automatically deduce which cycle count order this belongs to and then I can enter the quantity I've counted. The cycle count order is now fully complete. There is nothing left to be counted.